आशिल पा हो माता जॉइन कराई लेतना ते कहे आकरा दन जाले हाँ पाँच मिनट वेट करो सर ना गुड मगुड़ आफ्टर नून मिस करूँगी Good afternoon, everyone. We have our special guest with us, Dr. Amul Chavan, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. So we will wait for five minutes. After that, we will start. Yes, yes, ma'am.
डोंगरे मैडम सर वी स्टार्ट ओके सर करो कुछ ऐसा एम आई ऑडिबल यस मैम यस यस मैम करो कुछ ऐसा देश का सम्मान बढ़ जाए करो कुछ ऐसा देश का सम्मान बढ़ जाए मरे तो मरो तो ऐसा तिरंगे की शान बढ़ जाए भरो पिचकार ऐसे तन पर पड़े तो हिंदुस्तान बन जाए तन पर पड़े तो हिंदुस्तान बन जाए very good afternoon to one and all joined here i am dr shilpa rani dongri privileged to host the constitution day event held by the vn patil law college chhatrapati sambhaji nagar first i would like to greet all of you a very happy constitution day we have joined here to celebrate the adoption of the constitution of india the foundational document of the world's largest democracy i am very glad to be the part of this occasion being born as an indian is blessing and the constitution day is such an occasion to celebrate this blessing according to dr b r ambedkar constitution is not a mere lawyer's document it is a vehicle of life and its spirit is always the spirit of age let me expand uh, let, let me extend a warm welcome to our joint our celebration i am very pleased to see so many of you in this event i am even more courage courage by the presence of so many participant initially it's my pleasure to welcome you all i am honored to welcome esteemed chief guest as well as resource person dr amul chavan sir the associate professor of law the national law university and the judicial academy guwahati assam management principal professors and our uh, of our college the non teaching staff and for most importantly all the participant join here for the thank you sir and everyone for giving us your precious time first of all i would like to invite arya patil a beautiful and versatile student of our student to read the preamble of the constitution of india arya good afternoon everyone i am audible am i audible ma'am yes i am yes i proceed with the uh, preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute uh, india into a sovereign democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thoughts expressions belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them to all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and to uni unity of the nation in our constituent assembly the 26th day of november 1949 do your by adopt an act and give to ourselves this constitution thank you thank you arya thank you ma'am thank you everyone it's being india's culture to start good things by singing a song so i would like to invite the student of our college anjali pagare to sing a song on the constitution anjali yes ma'am you can start anjali you are audible okay ma'am don varsh 11 mahine 18 dis kiti sochal abhiman पावाच्या तुकड्यावर काढले दिस तरी थकला ना कामान साथरमाची बुद्ध धमाच मिळाल वरदान 
हर पुन भाण जीवाच कर मिरण लिहिल संविधान हर पुन भाण जीवाच कर मिरण लिहिल संविधान कुणाची मिळाली ना साथ आजवर झाला हो आघात पुस्तक सवे काढले जात दिव्या खाली झोपली माझी जात दिव्या खाली झोपली माझी जात रक्ताच नवत नात पेटविली आयुष्यात वात मायन भरवला तो घास शिजल नाही जरी घरात शिजल नाही जरी घरात डोळ्याचे पाणी सांगते वाणी थोरते योगदान हर पुन भाण जीवाच करु निरान लिहिल संविधान हर पुन भाण जीवाच करु निरान लिहिल संविधान कुणाचे दुःख कुणा कळते भीम बिनार मातळ मळते दुःखाच्या अग्नी मध्ये जळते ऐकताच रक्त सळ सळते ऐकताच रक्त सळ सळते निभावली रमा बंधनाला करुणी बुद्ध वंदनाला भीमाची वाट किती पाहिली गेले होते भीम परदेशाला गेले होते भीम परदेशाला त्या अनुयायीन घाई घाईन करुणी मतदान हो हर पुन भाण जीवाच करुणी रान लिहिल संविधान हर पुन भाण जीवाच करुणी रान लिहिल संविधान दोन वर्ष अकरा महिने अठरा दिस किती स्वसल अभिमान पावाच्या तुकड्यावर काढल्या दिस तरी थकला ना कामान सातारमाची बुद्ध धमाच मिळाल वरदान हर पुन भाण जीवाच करु निरान लिहिल संविधान हर पुन भाण जीवाच करु निरान लिहिल संविधान थँक यू मॅम थँक्यू सो अंजली फॉर सच अ मेलोडियस हार्ट टचिंग अँड ब्युटिफुल सॉंग थँक्यू सो मच नाव इट्स टाइम फॉर अ प्रिन्सिपल की नोट ऍड्रेस अ रे ऑफ लाईफ इज अ रे ऑफ होम लेट्स ऑल लिव्ह द डार्कनेस अँड स्टे टुवर्ड सच ब्राईट पाथ विथ दॅट बीन सेड आय वुड लाईक टू इन्व्हाइट अवर प्रिन्सिपल डॉक्टर नितल नांदेडकर मॅडम टू डिलिव्हर अ की नोट ऍड्रेस मॅडम थँक्यू डॉक्टर डोंगरे मॅडम रिस्पेक्टेड चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ टुडेज प्रोग्राम डॉक्टर चव्हाण सर रिस्पेक्टेड टीचर्स अँड माय डिअर स्टुडंट गुड आफ्टरनून वन अँड ऑल ऑन दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डे वी गॅदर टू सेलिब्रेट the foundation of our nation's guiding document the constitution of india it is a day of reflection and revelance for principles that have shaped our democracy our constitution adopted on this day in 1950 embodies the aspiration and dreams of diverse nation it guarantees fundamental rights ensures justice equality and liberty for all citizens as law student it is a crucial to recognize the significance of the law framework that governs our society my dear students the preamble of our constitution speaks of justice liberty equality and fraternity it serves as a constant reminder of values we hold here it is our responsibility as future legal professionals to uphold and protect these principles in pursuit of a just harmonious society in the world that is ever changing the constitution stand as resilient beacon adapting to the involving needs of the society as a student of law let us pledge to study understand and respect the constitution let us strive to become guardian of the justice and defender of the rights enriched within its pages on this constitution day let us renew our commitment to the ideal that bind us together as a nation may the knowledge we gain within these walls empower us to contrib- contribute 
positively to legal landscape and it turns strengthen the foundation of our great democracy finally i would like to wish you all a very happy constitution day and extend my great thanks to professor dr chavan sir that in a short span of a time he has agreed to accept our invitation and ready to guide us thank you thank you one and all thank you very much ma'am thank you madam we acknowledge your hard work and comm uh, commitments for our college now i would like to invite siddhi kandhari a scholar student of ours to the college to introduce our guest of honor dr amul chavan sir siddhi yes. good afternoon honorable chief guest dr amul dev chavan sir respected principal dr nidal nandelkar ma'am and all respected dignitaries and my dear friends it's my pleasure to introduce our guest of honor our chief guest for today's function is noted personality in legal fraternity honorable sir is associated professor of law in national law college university and judicial academy guwahati assam he has completed his graduation from sant gadge baba amravati university Mar amravati in 2003 he obtained his bachelor of laws degree from the same university in 2006 and stood fifth in university merit he secured his masters of law from department of law sgbau amravati in 2008 in branch of criminal law his phd degree was awarded for his work in field of law on the prominent aspect of negligence entitled critical study of negligence with special reference to medical negligence during treatment in light of judicial decision he has been enrolled himself as an advocate in the year 2006 in amravati district he has pursued more than 10 years of teaching experience he is recognized as pg teacher and pg dissertation guide in mp law college he was rector of boys hostel at mp law college he has held various position as founder president and brilliance lawyer club akola he was secretary of student council at sant gadge baba amravati university and also college representative for cultural program in pulsing nayak mahavidyalay fusad in 2002 to 2003 he has been president of law society pgtd of law amravati university he stood fifth in rank merit at amravati university in llb he has administrated contribution in various field such as he was chief superintendent of various university examination such as mp mpsc exam law exam ba mu exams he has worked as post coordinator of different certified courses which has been held by colleges he was adjudged as memorial evaluator in the fourth annual capacity building moot court competition organized by moot court committee of national law university and judicial academy assam he has worked as nss officer in charge of electoral roll he has published near about 25 papers in various reputed national and international journals he has attended 28 national and international conference and seminars even he has attended various training programs and also he has attended various arranged five residential nss camp in various parts of orangabad district his interview with media was taken by akashwani orangabad radio talk on introduction of constitution of india he was guest lecturer for department exam of psi commissioner officer aurangabad he is in charge of pg diploma course from 2012 till date we welcome you sir on behalf of our management staff and students of our college ah uh, thank you sangeeta for the beautiful introduction so madam shall we start yes sir Now I honor to yes. invite Dr. Mukul yes, Chawan yes, sir, thank you, thank you. and such person to share his views and guide us on the occasion of Constitution Day. Sir, over to you. Yes. Okay. So, uh, respected principal, Madam Nandekar, and uh, the Shilpa Rani, Madam. Sheikh Madam and the all the student participated uh, in this particular virtual platform to to discuss rather uh, the concept of Constitution. <laughs> so uh, friends uh, i am not going to deliver the particular lecture what we what the our uh, teachers used to do in our regular classes so today uh, i will focus on the the one particular area where i think that 
uh, the particular area is need to be considered by the law students as well as by the the common people also so uh, before going to the lecture i think there are so many people who raise the hands so i request you 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 have a chance to raise the hand after the the discussion is over so please give me a one minute i will share my ppt okay the participant who have raised their hand please lower down hand and i request the participant do not switch on your cameras please do not switch on your cameras as you are not in the uniforms you are sitting in the home switch off your cameras just wait for a minute sir will join us with us he is trying to share his ppt
hope my ppt is visible to you all yes sir it's visible yes yes uh, so friends uh, uh, today we will try to understand the concept of the gender identity under the constitutional provisions or under either under the constitution of india as we are celebrating the constitution day and this particular the the, the basic document of our country provides the the mechanism the mannerism and the uh, the vast categories of rights and duties to our citizens but still that is in a way completed almost 75 years of the our independence and still we are uh, that is in trying hard to get the identity issues more particularly when we talk about the identity issues in pertaining to the the the, the genders uh, more particularly the transgender the heterosexual and the lgbt and the the other another communities as our constitution of india provides the rights and the duties to the person but when we are not supposed to accept this particular categories of the people within the bracket or within the definition of the person so the question is remains so what is the use and what is the the utility of this particular constitutional provisions but our uh, the the uh, the constitutional maker or the fathers of the constitutions provide very beautifully very oh, that is what we called as a very scientifically the way where this all people's rights is to be protected under the law so in this particular 30 to 35 minutes i will convey my concern with uh, the 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 gender identity issues into the india and afterward the session is open for the discussion deliberation and your opinions and feedbacks so uh, this is the the part where we will discuss this particular thing so we we'll start with when we talk about the the gender or when we talk about the the concept of the person the our constitution of india provides the rights that is fundamental rights and the other categories of the rights to the individual or to the person so when we talk about the person so it is normally came in our mind that is a person includes what we learn under the ipc what we learn under the the another definitions given under the various laws so what we understand prima facie that is the person or the gender is equal to the male or the female but only the considering the male or the female so far the gender is concerned so it is a very narrow kind of the definition or narrow kind of the meaning which we normally take into consideration at the time of interpreting that particular law so when i used to teach the ipc so many a time the student asked to me sir what about the the transgenders and the other people because there is uh, the, the the concept or this this particular act provides the mechanism for the male and female only so there are some offenses where the men is specifically used where the women is specifically used so uh, considering that as you know that the new law is going to be introduced in india and by the time we will get the the Uh, the exhaustive definitions of this particular the gender issues but anyway uh, considering the status of the gender the, the the concept of the gender is not related only with the male or only with the female so it 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 goes beyond that what with includes the heterosexual people the transgender people the bisexuals the lesbian the gays and the the, the other categories of the people where they having the some different identity so we need to understand this particular concept in the context of the constitution of india that is we have the two notions to understand first that is what we called as a sex under the law and secondly what gender it means and how this particular constitution of india provides the protection to all the people including the people having the uh, the different identity of their gender or the different identity of their sex so considering that i i will try to match this particular gap by way, by way of this particular deliberation deliberation now as you know so far the maharashtra is concerned that we have the so many categories of the people who are living in the society and still they are struggling for their rights for their the, uh, the the basic rights rather so they are struggling for getting the human rights they are struggling for getting the constitutional right they are struggling for getting the justice from the the, the stakeholders of the uh, the state so basically 
in maharashtra or throw the, the these are the names what we called in the state of maharashtra but there are so many other names which is identified or which is associated with this particular categories of the people so what we called as an hijra or the kinnar or the joktas joga uh, jogpas and the uh, the khusras and the shiv shakti and so on so these categories of the people these categories of the community is what we called or what we known as a transgender though specifically these all communities are not within the definition and purview of this particular transgender though we have the so many definitions of the transgenders but this particular community what we uh, that, that that this particular communities we overall or by way of the our uh, the perceptions or by way of our understanding we see that this particular people are the, the within the definition of this particular categories and this particular people experiences so many hate so many discriminations as you know that uh, when i visited in last month into the aurangabad so when i was in aurangabad so there was no uh, the signals but what i observe this particular categories of the peoples their presence in the, to the society is very high so, so, so considering the aurangabad region so I, i i came to know there are so many people who are wandering behind the, the 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 streets and they are asking for the money from this particular people so what what exactly the thought is that came into our mind when this particular people claim any single pie or something help from this particular the, the society so the the first reaction in our mind is came that is called as another you know, hateful attitude towards this particular people so why why because because we are not going to consider that they are the human beings we are not going to consider that these people are also the part of the society and these people are having the all rights all sort of the rights all kind of the the rights which is guaranteed under the constitution if if there is a violations of your rights so you will claim immediately from the court of law and what about this particular people whenever any offense or any uh, any in any kind of the act is committed against to this people so so the thought came into my mind that this there, there may be a chance of wrong on this part of this particular people why because we are not considering them as a human being we are not identifying the their gender as a within the that is an definitions of the gender now if you go with the uh, the the scenario that is in a constitution is in a uh, we can say that it is a 75 years old document but it doesn't mean that so because the principle of the constitution if you go with if you go carefully with the part third of the constitution of india which is based upon the buddhism or the buddhist philosophy what we called as an uh, the the rights which is guaranteed by our uh, so called uh, the scholars at that time so the identity issue or the identity of this particular persons or the position of this particular persons was in existence from the immemorial period what we if you if you go with if you trace this particular the the discrimination and the bias so we we, we cannot blame to only to the laws or we cannot blame to the constitutions only that these particular peoples are not included though if you read carefully and if you go with the 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 uh, what we called as an a literal interpretation as well as the liberal interpretation of constitution of india then the constitutions provide the mechanism to deal with this particular peoples but because of the we are not going to accept this particular things so anyway so this particular uh, the uh, the the status or the, the gender identity crisis or the status of this particular people was existed from the period of mahabharata ramayana and the mughal british and and after the uh, what we called as an after the india uh, after india uh, get the uh, what we called as an independence so if we if we divide this situation between the two parts that is the first part till the india get the that is independence and second part after the independence if you go with the first part so the discrimination hate and this particular people is not considered as a human being from the mahabharata or ramayana or till the uh, that is a uh, that, that till the pre uh, till the independence of the india 
if you go with the mughal period so the you may you, you may come across various literature where these particular peoples are used to that is in confine or they they may be used but I, I i i deliberately use the word use so they these particular people may be used for the sexual pleasure for the begging for the the household kind of the work and uh, for the uh, what we called as an uh, the entertainment and etc etc so these particular people uh, that is an basically face the discrimination hate violence and the stigma and if you go with the second period that is an after the independence of india 1947 afterwards or we can say that 26 january 1950 after the introduction of the constitution so we have the the provisions of non discrimination that is the right to life and so on but the situation or the position of this particular people is not a change or we can say that there is no drastic change in the position of this particular people what they were experiencing during the period of or during or during the uh, that is and before the independence of the india so the situation is the same the the only difference is that by way by way of recognizing the laws by way of providing the mechanism solution through the constitutional provision these particular peoples are now that they now now they are recognized as an a as an a human beings now we need to understand what exactly the this particular peoples uh, that is an uh, what what exactly the, the meaning of the transgender so we have the so many definitions we have the so many literature we have so many articles on it where we can easily identify this particular people by way of their dress sense by way of their way of talking by way of their behavior and by way of their appearance and so on but if you consider yes, Yes. Anybody having any question? Okay. Anyway, so uh, that is there is a different in the biological sex and the birth. So the by way of birth, the person may be as a uh, male or female, but uh, biologically the person is a male or either in the case. If suppose biologically I am a male. but uh, by way of the sex i am a male but by way of the behavior i am a female there is a difference between the gender identity and the gender uh, what what we called as the biological gender what the persons get after the birth so by the birth the persons get the get the biological gender but after getting that biological gender it doesn't mean that the persons having that particular kind of the the sense uh, what we call the sensations after that the particular persons the identity may be changed if suppose i am a male or if suppose i am a female but my behavior my way of talking my uh, my representation in the society is reflect as an a male if i am a female and it reflect through the, uh, like as a male if suppose i am a male and if reflect as an as an women so this particular this particular dilemma this particular kind of the gap will lead towards the to understand the that this particular transgenders now the difference of the sex at the birth and the difference of the identity having the two dimensions so the the identity of the person is go with the behavior of the persons into the society and not necessarily the persons who having the particular category of the sex that is male or the female not necessarily the behavior of that male or the female is like the the, the as per the sex which is assigned by the 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 nature so when there is a difference when there is a conflict between your the biological sex and your behavior so the identity crashes will be arise so wherever there is a conflict so there are so many people you might be heard on the news on the on the news or you may be read the in the newspaper so the one person was a, uh, the, the male afterward after the surgery that particular male is converted has, uh, himself into the female and vice versa so why this particular thing is happened though the biologically they are male or the female but by way of the behavior they need they they want to create their identity as per their perception as per their behavior and as per their sense so accordingly this particular uh, what we called as an this particular things is is to be 
consider now now considering the the what is the status of the i am not going to read this particular definition because you know very well that is section 2k of the transgender persons protection of rights act 92 provides that is the the transgender means a person who does not match with the gender assigned to that person birth includes the trans man or the trans woman simply we can say that whatever the sex identity which is assigned by nature i am not going to accept it because that that particular gender that, that particular sex is not matched with my behavior it is not matched with uh, match with my the perception my understanding and uh, the the, uh, the w w what i personally feel uh, in the in the given uh, in the given context now so when we talk about the the concept of personality so we need to understand in the two way as you as i know that you many of you uh, that is and you go with these particular things from in the jurisprudence and the the another laws so if you go with the uh, the two different ideologies to understand the personality or the person so in normal aspect what is our personality or what is our person what we called as an a person so the individual difference in the characteristic pattern of thinking feeling and behavior what we understand suppose for example I am the male and I get up myself as a female. So, prima facie, I may look like as a female. So, the kind, the the perception of the society, they will consider me as a female. Suppose I am a female and my haircut, I, I make my haircut or my dress sense or my that is a the things which is that is uh, shows my personality. If I change into that, so though biologically I am a female. But identitally, I am the male. So this normal aspect, what we understand as a male or the female by the appearance of the person. Once the person is appear before us, so we easily identify this is the male or this is the female or this is the transgender or this is the person who either having the different categories of the gender if you are not able to identify the same. Now, if you go with the jurisprudence, so the jurisprudence that is, an, if, if you go with the jurisprudentially, so the concept of personality it includes the persons and the human beings. So we are not that is an, going to deliver, uh, discuss the the second first part. We we concentrate on the human beings. So if you jurisprudentially, if you make the analysis of the concept of the personality. so the personality indicates the identity of all human beings and uh, the the identity of that particular all human beings not only that it includes the enjoyment of rights and duties so when we come with the rights duties of the human being so we are not here to make the discrimination between the two individual basing on the sex or basing on the gender identity what the jurisprudence says but our in normal perception we try to understand the concept of the sex or the the gender basing on the perception basing on the our understanding now if you go with this argument into the jurisprudence that is another the personality or the persons means it includes the all human being who is uh, who having the rights and the capable of the rights so we again then again if you go with this so the, then again the, there may be a two kind of the persons we have what we learn under the jurisprudence that is natural person or the all human beings and the legal and the artificial persons or the juristic persons so the natural persons includes the person from the from the womb so if the person is in a mother womb irrespective of the identity irrespective of their sex assigned by the nature the constitution and our laws protect the interest and rights of this particular person so whenever the person as you know under the hindu law and under the your property laws that is where the person is in the mother womb so the person's right should be protected from the very first day of that particular person's presence into the mother womb so considering that if suppose we are here to provide the protection rights and duties to all human beings irrespective whether the person is get birth or not now if you concentrate on the the definition given by the salmon on the the on the, uh, the 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 particular the person so the person being that anyone uh, that is an uh, who is a capable of rights 
and uh, who is bound by the legal duties so capable of rights and bound by legal duty we can only say in case of the human beings so again sal if you go with if you go with the careful oh. yes sorry sir sorry sir don't be, yes don't be panic i i will complete within i i realize the pain that it is the sunday and uh, you are on the online and uh, i really appreciate your efforts but kya kare government ne bheja hai celebrate karna hai hame karna hi padega na okay sir thank you sir ha thank you thank you very much i realize okay so i i, I will conclude within 10 minutes so again the salmon says it is a capable of rights and it is bound by the legal duty so whenever there is a rights and a duty so rights and duties is associated only with the human beings so again the jurisprudence the our uh, the the basic philosophy did not make the difference between the gender or the between the sex as they says that is all human beings are equal they having the rights guaranteed under the all laws at the same time they are the that they are bound by the legal duties now these are the there are some definition which is given uh, related with the person what the savigny says what the gray says what the austin says and what section 11 of ipc says if you go with this particular definition in a in a one shot kind of the definition so the person is nothing but an or no one is within uh, the person means a person who is a human being and who is a bearer of rights and who is bound by the duties simply now coming to the constitution of india if you carefully read the constitution form from preamble to the last part of the constitution so the entire mechanism of the constitution is pick and it provides the protection and the rights and the duties to the individuals or to the human beings so if you go with part third part fourth and the so the, and the other part of the constitution main focus if you read uh, that is part third part fourth along with the preamble of the constitution of india then it provides the mechanism of the justice liberty and so on to the every individual who is a citizen non citizen including to the particular uh, to the particular individual or to the particular human beings if you go with article 14 where it did not make any kind of the discrimination no person what the word used into the that is that is an article 14 15 16 19 21 that is no persons what persons indicate the persons means what the salmon says the person means any human being who is a bearer of rights and bound by the duties so if you if you make the interpretation of this particular uh, that is an a constitutional provision with respect to the gender or with respect respect to the gender identity then we, we then we realize that the entire mechanism of the constitution of india provides the protection not only to the the particular individual but it provides the protection to the person so the person includes all human beings irrespective of your any discrimination based on caste sex religion place of birth and the word use that is the sex it includes the gender identity also if you if you stretch the word though i i, I though we discuss that the sex is a biological phenomena which is assigned by the birth and the gender is a what we what the person's behavior so though though the sex word is there but if you stretch that particular word in the context of the identity so then we realize that irrespective of your identity whether you are male or whether you are female whether you are transgender whether you are any any identity and if suppose you are the human beings so the constitution of india provides the mechanism to protect the 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 rights of the individuals so considering that these particular fundamental rights if we concentrate on more particularly or that is article 14 and article 19 of the constitution uh, article 20 sorry article 21 of the constitution of india where it provides the enjoyment of the life enjoyment of the life to all citizens to all human beings irrespective of any kind of the discrimination it means it is clear that the constitutional mechanism did not deals with the identity crisis or the identity issues 
whereas the constitution the mechanism or the the mannerism and the the setup of the constitutions provides the protections to all human beings irrespective of their or uh, any kind of the barriers related with the identity or the sex or caste or religion and so on but considering that if you go with the preamble and if you go with the 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 preamble and the part 4th of the constitution of india if you that is an uh, very beautifully that one of the student uh, read the preamble yes anybody having any question this Okay. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, please. Uh, myself, uh, Apurva Chavan. I have a question. Ji. Please. That um, we um, saw everywhere, like uh, even in TV series or in real life, that uh, this transgender uh, people live in a different society, and uh, they uh, like ask for money in roads and traffic. We everyone see, uh, saw that. Okay. So and many we didn't saw that they are working or uh, like us like uh, many people are lawyer doctor or uh, police and every any of the profession uh, they are not seen uh, in, in uh, many rarely we have might seen in this twenty first century so my question is uh, why it is so uh, that uh, there doesn't uh, we are uh, not uh, uh, um. Like uh, we can say, we are not allowing them to educate them, or uh, like uh, to live like us. Or uh, it was like from historic uh, period, ancient period, or it's by law or something. Why don't they live like us? Or um, uh, maybe uh, our society brainwashed them that uh, they should uh, only beg for money. They can't be educated. So why it is so? Uh, and how can we change this? ha ah, madam your question is good but uh, I, if, if i give the the single sentence answer that we the people of india is not allowing to this particular community to live like as a human being why it is so why it is why? so yes sir why it is so because if you go with the supreme court judg judgments if you go with the provision under the constitution if you go with the provision under the laws so no law no judgment no constitutional provisions uh, that is a provide any kind of the prohibition to this particular people i just ask you a small questions suppose for example if suppose i am a transgender and i am delivering the lecture on the, uh, in a in a today's platform so what will be your first reaction before joining the this particular lecture what will what firstly it will come into your mind chodo yaar kya karna hai transgender kahan kab se lecture dene lag gaye hum transgender ki sunenge ab inko itna hi kaam bacha hai why why I, I, i am not talking that this exactly the thought will come in your mind but what our mindset or what 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 we the people think about this particular because if you go with the 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 detail study then you will realize i i just give an example suppose for example some persons take the birth in my family and uh, the there is a gender crisis or the gender issues and finally i came to know uh, the person is a transgender so as a parents what will my first reaction to the the first reaction will be अरे यार हमने तो बेटा मांगा था चलो ठीक है भगवान बेटी दे देता तो ठीक था लेकिन ना तो ये बेटी है ना तो बेटा है अब इसके लिए हम क्या करें सो वी ट्राई टू अबंडन दैट पर्टिकुलर चाइल्ड इफ यू गो विद द इंटरव्यूज इफ यू गो विद द स्टोरीज इफ यू गो विद द लिटरेचर अवेलेबल सो यू रेयरली फाउंड एनी ट्रांसजेंडर इंजॉय दिस पर्टिकुलर चाइल्ड हुड एंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ द फैसिलिटीज इन फ्रॉम देयर फैमिलीज टिल दे गेट द सक्सेस so their story shows that we are not so what 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 i am discussing from last 20 minutes that is there is a crisis and there is a issue with the identity of the person so we are not going to digest the identity issue of that particular person because what is our perception in our mind we recognize the people basing on the gender assigned by the nature either male or female that's it 
so we are our mindset our education system our law uh, not law exactly but the law implementation and the what we called as an in uh, in comma inverted comma sanskar so these not uh, these not allowed us to think out of the box so that 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 is one of the reasons so, so as a, as as the constitution and the there are so we will discuss the some the judicial decision also where the supreme that is if you read the nalsa or the navte singh and the so many other cases where the supreme court come up with the broad interpretation of this particular gender crisis and the gender issues and what they says they all are human beings irrespective of their gender identity now again india is still fighting for this particular gender identity issue in connection with the marriages so the case is pending into the supreme court of india so what the government says no we are not going to allow this particular categories of people to live a normal family life because our sanskriti our religion our this and that is not permitted to this but but but, but again the question is same whether we are treating them as a human being or whether treating as a aliens so they are not the aliens they took the birth from the mother womb they was they, they were in the mother womb for 9 months so the gender the, the 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 gender which is assigned by the nature it is not the fault of that particular person it is the fault of the nature so why this particular people will be suffer okay now this is the that this is the first part of your answer and now you just listen me for more 10 minutes then you will get the the another answer by uh, uh, of your questions you getting my point okay sir thank you sir yes yes you you please listen carefully i think that you are only the listener of this particular class okay very good now the as i told you that is a nalsas that is a national legal services authority versus union of india that is 15 april 2014 what the supreme court of india says that is transgender people that is third gender affirm that the fundamental rights guaranteed under the constitution of india will be equally applicable to them so it is clear so law did not make the difference the differentiation law did not make the difference between the biological sex and the identity crisis so basically the constitution of india provides the mechanism to provides the rights what i told you that is and the person the word which use into the constitution that is the persons indicates that is an all categories of the person the only qualification is that the person must be within the definition of human beings what is your sex what is your identity doesn't matter so this particular rights is applicable to them equally them that is and they are the equal shareholder equal stakeholder of this particular fundamental rights and give them the rights to self identification of their gender as a male female or the third gender now here the supreme court says we are not the person we the state or we are not the persons who decide the gender identity of the individual let it be decided by the individuals only suppose for example i am a male but my feeling says me that i should live like as a female so what's wrong in that so who the government who the police who the authorities who the society who the family members will decide that i should live like as a male or the female so it is me to decide my gender identity so it is to me i decide my self identity and if i decided my self identity so i am free to live with the identity which i personally feel it is fit for me now the suresh kumar kaushal and the nas foundation case what i told you that is a it is also the same principle which is laid down by the supreme court of india now moving further now what is the status now now you are the you are second part or the the answer of your query now the legal recognition for the third gender yes we give some extend the legal uh, recognition to the genders that is we recognize them as a transgender we recognize them as the community we recognize them as a human being but still the fight is going on but the still the struggle is going on they are still fighting for their identity issues though it is provided by the see i just give an example there are the provision under the ipc the person who commit the rape shall be punished for this and that punishment but the offense of rape is still existence 
Why? Because the peoples are not going to accept this. This particular act is wrong, or it is offence. It is against the morality, and so on. Likewise, though the gender identity is legally recognised, but we the people, we are not going to digest that this particular people also within the meaning of the human beings. We still think that this particular people are the aliens. now legal legal recognition for person uh, that is within the male or female binary they having socio economical rights are given to them stigma and the public awareness is necessary because still these particular people are enjoying though uh, uh, the enjoyment is not the proper word that is they are they are sustaining their rights by way of by the, through the stigma which is given by the society and the public health and sanitation now now the constitution of india and the the uh, the mechanism the legal mechanism provides the prohibition of all kind of the discrimination yes it is it is there it is black and white mentioned into the constitution and other laws but in reality picture is different educational establishment yes there is as you know that there is a, some reservation for the transgenders and but the peoples are not ready to identify disclose their identity so many a time we came across as an um, as an a teacher when we sit into the admission committee so there is a special kind of the reservation provided for this particular people so educational establishment they are they are promoted they are but still their presence is less employment yes they got the employment but again again it is not the what we called as an it is not like as an other human beings health care services they they are facing facility uh, mean to public use right to movement again right to movement is the big issue if you go if you if you watch or if you notice any transgender who is that is on a on the road side so what is the behavior of this particular people against to that particular transgender then you will notice so what we what we think and what we consider ki this is the kind of the things not a human being it is a things to enjoy so this kind of the uh, that is the, and again the transgender having the rights to occupy the property and the hold the public offices etc etc now these are the protections which we see in uh, in the context or in the that is in a, under the umbrella of the constitution of india that is i am not going to discuss this now these are the international conventions now these are the the things which is that is in a experience by the Uh, by this particular transgender, what we called as a you know, discrimination, rights, education, and resources, force, evictions. Yes. Sir, I have a question. Sorry to ask you in the middle one, of this. One, one, one. Please, please wait, wait for the one minute. One minute. I will, I will, I will give the answer of all of your queries. I just, I just try to finish it. Okay. Please okay, wait sir. for one minute. Take it. Now, this is a form of slavery, torture, and victims. Now. now where is the problem now how we are that is and are supposed to overcome this particular problem in the context of the constitution of india as we provides the mechanism and rights and duty so the the main problem or what what i personally feel now the answer is yours so the the knowledge gap the capacity gap the commitment gap and the security gap these are the gaps where this particular identity issue is not basically well tried well sought by the so called the government or so called the state or so called the the public uh, officers what we whatever the name what we called so there is a knowledge gap in the sense that we have the the The, the the knowledge gap to understand the identity and the sex the of the particular people in the context of the constitutional mechanism and this the, so far the capacity gap is concerned this particular peoples are not able to cope up with or to manage this particular gap and there is a lack of the commitment by the stakeholders who are who who provides the protections to this particular people and again there is a big security gap as you know what going at the globe level pertaining to this particular communities where this particular community is hated torture maltreated rape and so many other brutal activities is committed against to this particular people if they come with their voices so with that i think uh, i try my best to convey this particular message to you the gender identity crisis 
and in the in the in the in the context of the constitution of india so please uh, if you have any questions now i am ready to answer it please go ahead yes yes you please directly ask me there is no need Sir, to... uh, i yes. was happy yes. one question that more than like more than educating people uh, even people are educated they are discriminating uh, on the basis of the sex and on the basis of their gender something but if uh, i think that in my point of view i think that if people are known to humanity they won't do it so uh, i think they should be learned to teach that humanity is more important then after that i think education comes so humanity should be taught priorly than education i think like that is yes, it okay yes yes yes, yes. thank you sir excuse me sir my question yeah. to you was uh first of all good afternoon and uh, good afternoon. my question is sir uh, as you have uh, mentioned about the transgender uh, throughout your lecture my question is what about what provisions does the constitution provide for lgbt uh, lgbtq community because these are the uh, yeah. provisions uh, regarding the transgender but what about all the other communities so uh, you are in the uh, uh, in, you are in which year uh, sir i am the professor you are professor yes of english department sir oh oh okay okay so sorry so sorry no, so uh, if you read yes if you read the constitution of india so the constitution is not the document which is made for the particular categories of people as i firstly told you in my in my starting of the lecture that is the constitution of india provides the rights duties liabilities and each and every provisions to the citizens or to the human beings or to the person so the the person includes everyone so the constitution is not going to make the discrimination because if you read the the fundamental rights or the if you read the constitutional provision so the word used that is no discrimination based on the sex place birth and you uh, you might be add the identity also so there is no separate so far my knowledge is concerned maybe i am wrong there may be a, some constitutional uh, experts is there so considering that there is no specific provisions which provides the mechanism but the overall provision of the constitution provides the protections to the all human beings irrespective of any kind of the discrimination based on the gender or the sex yes ma'am thank you sir and sir what is your yes, opinion sir. on uh, uh, section 377 <laughs> you are asking the question in what sense so gender rights yes so what the section 377 of ipc provides sir it is removal of uh, gender discrimination on lgbtq community i think i think it is the marriage the, of the, two gender people no 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 it it, 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 it did not stop talk about the marriage marriage no 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 it talk about the 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 sex between the same uh, same sex uh, the persons so the decriminalization of this particular activities is no more that is in the, the, there is a provision that is this kind of the activity will not be considered as a offense anymore so the lgbt community is allowed to having the sex with their partners irrespective of their gender that's it yes thank you sir yes sir there are some questions in comment box Okay. Can I read it for you? Yes, no, 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 madam. I, I, I will go. Yes, yes, sir. Shri says, sir, what measures to be taken at the ground level? Because in the city we can normalize this, but what about the villages? Yes, again, 
what i told you there is a gap that is an a knowledge gap unless and until we understand and we, unless and until we overcome this particular gap of the knowledge between the between the individuals so we cannot come with the see this is not the problem which is only related in the village only if you go in the city so the problem is still persist and the problem which is face into the cities uh is more kind of uh, the 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 more bitter experiences to the people who are living into the villages so again unless and until we set up our mindset to treat the person as a human being in if we discuss this particular issue in the context of the human right so the what the human rights provide if you read the udhr what the universal declaration of human rights says that is and no discrimination there are 30 32 30 articles speak about this particular thing so these particular the, the, the unless and until we recognize them as a human being so this particular per, this, this particular issue will not be settled i not into the city not into the villages so so far the uh, and the second thing is that whenever any couple what we called as an husband and wife get the child who did not having the the uh, the sexual identity where the sexual identity is somewhat extend what we called as an in a question so these particular people are not accept this particular uh, child as an uh, as an a normal child so this particular kind of the uh, set we need to develop second thing merely making the laws yes by the time that as you know at the globe level there are so many laws which pro pro provides the protection to this particular communities but merely making the laws or making the policy will not serve the purpose unless and until it is compulsorily observed in the sense of morality in the sense of humanity unless and until it is observed this particular problem will not be sorted out because as as you know this particular problem is not uh, that is came on the record from last few years it is the problem from the the ancestor uh, and the, the ancient period where this particular communities uh, that is and facing this particular kind of the problem yes i think necessary uh, you get my answer yes uh yes 370 so talk about the unnatural say ah, yes i know uh sangeeta madam good afternoon okay so my question is to you is why transgender are treated differently in different countries we if we compare to foreigner countries and in our country why these are two big difference yes again again the same difference is the same so i just give an example why these particular foreigners are so different and why we are different i just given a, a small if you if you go with the sanitation or the kind of jaise ki agar mujhe kachra agar fekna hai india mein to jahan sadak dikhegi jahan mujhe dikhega wahan main fek dunga lekin agar yahi aap foreign country ke logo ko dekhoge to they they will put their garbage into the dustbin why because discipline is there rules is there mindset is there they are loyal to their countries they are loyal to their people they they are uh, that is a, they, they obey the laws they are uh, what we called as a they uh, they feel that it is our responsibility india ka population 140 crore more hai aise circumstances mein how you are supposed to enlighten each and every person about this particular issue so foreign countries and our countries mein bahut sare differences isliye hote hain because our culture is different our mindset is different our thinking is different our education system is different our social structure is different we are under the that is under the safe umbrella of our religious practices customary practices and so on these particular the teaching preaching the sanskar which is made on me from my birth to death these particular things is not allowed me to think in a out of the box i just give a, another example do you think that the caste system caste system in india is abolish or the untouchability is abolish no it is there but the practices are different because why we are not why 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 we are not abolishing this particular thing though law abolish it though the constitution provides the abolition of the untouchability and so on why we did not abolish it because our mindset is not permit us theek hai na aaj bhi 
घरों में हमारे फैमिली में यही एजुकेशन मिलता है कि ये वो कास्ट का है ये वो रिलीजन का है ये वो कम्युनिटी से बिलोंग करता है ही इज फ्रॉम दैट कम्युनिटी ये कम्युनिटी ऐसा होता है लाइक दैट दी रूमर्स विच इज दैट इज एन रिलेटेड विद द ट्रांसजेंडर इज द सेम वॉट इफ 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 एज अ फादर एज अ मदर इफ आई टीच माई चाइल्ड कि लुक दिस इज द दो दे आर द जेंडर आइडेंटिटी इश्यूज बट दे आर ह्यूमन बींग्स you should treat you should respect to this particular people as an human being then the problem will sort out otherwise no so that is the difference between the foreign countries and the our countries sangeeta madam i think you get my point sir what do you think about bestiality yes. sir what do you think about bestiality ha huh. so whether it will help the my thinking with the bestiality okay so so far my opinion is concerned bestiality again though it is offense though it is prohibited but again it is a mindset of the human being so how the person is think in a in a way that i have a sex with whatever so you just imagine it it is a kind of it is not a disease it is not a psychological issue i think it is the it is the issue with the, what we call as in a mindset or the our thinking our yes that's it okay but don't you think it's brutal it's brutal it's brutal yes it is brutal it is offense it is prohibited it is against to the nature it is against to the humanity everything is there so what is the use of that word what we use it is a brutal and this and that sir it is brutal to animals sir i think so uh, yes yes whether any animal can file the case against to the human beings no animal can't but even if they so, can't so, okay if they can't so it is my mind say the brutality is in my thinking brutality is in my mind brutality is in my behavior so i need to work on my behavior on my thinking on my perceptions getting my point okay, so it is sir. only the offense so it is only the offense if you uh, if you go with the the gap but well, if you if you if you go with the gap so uh, how many cases are uh, uh, really come to face on the records and how many cases is actually happened though what we called as a brutal what we called as an offense but unless again unless and until it is that is an uh, unless and until i change my mindset it will not arya yes anything okay. else on your side no thank you thank you hmm no 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 sir thank you done yes 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 any more questions yes those who raised the hand that is shivam apurva swanand shubha and the chandrakant and the samir Uh, yes what the what is says the, that means only the law will not help we have to change our mindset and thinking yes my dear otherwise that is see what is the mockery that is we have the plethora of laws thousands and the thousands of laws and we are every day we are making the new laws but where we are we are on the same platform so the offense uh, the offenses are there punishments are there everything is there so why the offenses is continue one why the offenses is not uh, that is a uh, see uh, i just given another example in the if i am not wrong in 2012 when the nirbhaya case was happened afterward our law is changed now after changing the law this particular kind of brutal activity is going on so who will responsible for that law is there law is only to rule regulate the society that's it 
So law is made to regulate the society, and the lawbreakers are there, the law implementers are there. But it doesn't mean that the law, once the law is made, so, so all kind of all sort of problem will be sorted out. No, unless and until yes, you, we change ourselves. No offense will be come to an end. Hello, so, sir. Yes, ma'am. Please. so my opinion is this is an uh, our personal issue that even though there is a subject or lesson we are taught in our education system oh, like even yeah. there is a uh, law conducted for uh, this transgender uh, people but uh, we personally feel that uh, like uh, we uh, we don't allow them or uh, we make them awkward uh, that is why they don't uh, mix up in our society so uh, i think uh, if uh, the people uh, instead of um, uh, behave uh, we see that they ask for money they entertain or something whatever etc instead of doing that if we uh, available them or uh, instead of making them awkward we are feeling we uh, include them in our society so i think if they got education proper education so uh, think about it only a woman and men are um, uh, developing in our uh, country and doing many works so if this transgender people also include in our society and instead of asking money if they are capable to uh, provide employment to the people so how great it will be for our india Uh, so yes, true, true. yes yes true you please take the initiative and start this particular kind of activity and uh, of course this particular community will thankful to you because the every st- uh, that is an uh, every moment is start from the the, uh, the 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 particular person who is take the efforts so it is a good idea and you were uh, yes your opinion is true it is right it is obvious and i think yes we need to we need to think about that so once we need to that is another to first of all we need to remove the the idea or the thought of hate against to this particular community yes you are true yes sir what are the impact so, yes it is yes, uh, yes. maybe thought or uh, we have been uh, observing from our society we have been learned from this society uh, we can say it is like a brainwash that this uh, after watching our parents they are ignoring they are giving money we um, we are learning from that no if we make change and then our future generation will also make change if we you proper uh, and uh, treat them like us like we uh, treat uh, females and male if we treat them like other people then our upcoming generation will also treat like a same they will uh, learn uh, learn from us right so yes yes I, uh, so i think so uh, this uh, begins from the home from ourselves even if there are many laws and uh, it is um, many laws and education are uh, in education we are taught but uh, there is not much difference it is from our um, perspective so first of all yes. we should change our perspective towards them then only yes. this change can come yes yes now the last question that is shivank is asking that is what are the impact of transgender person protection right of act 2019 on the transgender community marathit sangu ka kahi nahi zero evdas uttar hai this yes madam hello hello sir myself shubhangi deshmukh uh, sir yes. i am um, i think that though the constitution or though the government have given the right them but they should have to aware about that so that we the society we the students of law or the common uh, peoples we should have to counsel them uh, so that we should have to make uh, different efforts uh, for that aspect if yes 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 considering your opinion i just give the suggestions to in a, in a, at, at your open platform 
you have the legal aid services sale you have the nss you have the so many other projects and the uh, the, uh, the kind of nss and the other kind of the activity so uh, at least at least the the, the people from the your uh, you know that particular district will take benefit so uh, when i was in the mp law college so i came across with some transgender people where i take the initiative and uh, i i give him the, them to uh, the what we called as an the legal awareness about their rights and this and that but the thing is that uh, the, the when i came across with the so many people so what they what they told us to ki bhaiya khane peene se agar hame khane peene ki agar ye cheeze ki agar satisfaction agar ho jaye to we will think about this rights so they this particular community is still that is an a star uh, that is a starving for the foods and the shelters and the basic amenities so this particular thing is not provided to them so but but, but your idea is good your your initiative will be good so you can start this particular activity by get, taking the small small kind of the um, project or the activity and you can make the uh, you can spread the awareness uh, among this particular community about their rights about their laws and about the what the constitution says and what the another law says uh, re relating to their protections that, uh, that yeah, is so a very good uh, idea thank you uh, but what i am saying that there uh, not only me from our um, youngsters or whatever the uh, uh, students of law or many persons in society if they will take the university by themselves uh, as uh, 60% of people in our society they are educated they are giving them um, uh, uh, whatever uh, common uh, behavior with themselves uh, with these people so that among us some if some students or if some people uh can counsel them whenever they got the opportunity whenever they get the opportunity that time if they counsel them then they will think about their work their rights and uh, then they will improve their lives yes thank you sir yes so chilpa madam can we conclude yes yes so i i i don't know how much i uh, that is an uh, uh, make an appeal to you on this particular topic so whatever uh, my idea my thought i just put uh, forward to you and uh, you just think upon it and uh, you try to cope up with this particular issue in future and at the very outset i am thankful to the nadadkar madam dongre madam and the sheikh madam who invited me on this uh, particular program and give me an opportunity to interact with you all people who are very brilliant and the vibrant who that is vibrant youth of the upcoming develop india so called so thank you very much madam thank, thank you one and all thank, thank you thank you sir it was a very excellent and mind blowing mind blowing guidance sir a very different topic of transgender has been explained sir interpreted gender det uh, determination in a very interesting manner and how constitutional rights can be given to the transgender i would like to thank and appreciate our resource person dr amul chavan sir for such a splendid and valuable guidance on the constitution day now i invite pathan mohammad kaif a bright student of our college to propose a vote of thanks respected uh, principal uh, dr nikhil nandurkar ma'am good afternoon on the day to day dr amol jo sawan sir and respected dignitary and all the students kaif 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 yes ma'am you are not audible properly yes respected yes. Uh, prin yes. respected principal dr nitin nandedkar ma'am good afternoon honorable chief guest dr amul deo chawan sir and respected dignitaries and all the students present here i extend my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for joining us on the significant occasion of constitution day today we reflect the uh, we we reflect the principle and value ensured in our constitution i would like to specially thank dr amul deo chawan sir whose in insightful remarks enlighten us about the profound importance of constitution 
we are grateful for for the contribute i also extend appreciate to dr shilpa ma'am for organizing this event and to and to all the participants and volunteers who have made this event a success may this constitution day serve as a re reminder of our shared responsibility to safeguard the value that bind us together as a nation thank you thank you kev there is always a theme to every event such as this auspicious event i hereby declare that the virtual celebration of constitution day has been ended with the hope that each one of you would behold the importance of our constitution respect and maintain the constitution of india of our nation in all situation thank you one and all now i would like to request all of you to turn on the mic for the national anthem and please stand up for the national anthem If you are not using N for you. your creating your PowerPoint, then you are using ninety-nine. So thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chali. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank you. <laughs>